everyone what's going on guys it's jeff real quick before i get started on this video i just want to thank you guys for all the love and support on all the videos recently i've been getting a bunch of new subscribers and stuff so uh, for all of you out there that aren't subscribed that have managed to come across this video for one reason or another subscribe i upload virtually every single day although the past couple weeks have been pretty uh pretty exhausting but you know what it is it's 2020 baby so today on tuesday we usually end up having these uh you know playlist updates or whatever it's almost two o'clock and we still haven't had the playlist update it's probably gonna happen at any moment now probably in the middle of me making this they'll have it swapped over so the thing i was wishing for was shoot the ship to be changed to shipment 24 7 at the very least or do the whole thing where they went uh shipment 24 7 shoot house 24 7 and then drop zone that's what they're actually doing they gave an update yesterday and that's supposed to be the playlist for this week going all the way until season five because shipment 24 7 always comes out on the final week in some way shape or form just so everybody has enough time to catch up or whatever but the playlists haven't changed yet so i'm still waiting around for those we have two new bundles in the store uh the other one was like i think ghostly something i already bought it but we have the zane golden idol bundle here got like this gold trim with skulls all over super edgy you know what i mean it's going all the way down got the boots on his pants are golden i mean like one of the cleanest looking characters for all of his skins in this game he's got like so much cool looking shit a king's highway it's just another gold trim gun another gold trim magnum and then there's the other pack which basically only had one blueprint in it it was very cheap i forget the name of it but i bought it already but they ended up coming out with this blueprint called ghostly recollection and as you can see this is kind of like that the party rock camo or whatever it is the actual name of the camo i'm not entirely sure back on black ops 2 i already have a class made for it but by default i I think it goes it's supposed to have this predator barrel the gi mini reflex and the operator foregrip and then add other things on top of it so i guess we'll go stippled i don't want to go and mess around with the stock or anything because i don't want to mess it up that's I, I got yelled at a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of different times and stuff for always changing around these things whenever we got these blueprints and stuff so I'm trying to keep it i'll change it to the 50 round mag because it doesn't really make much of a difference doesn't make it look that different so we'll go with the 50 round mag the playlist yet nope nothing all right back in the hardcore so i actually ended up finishing out the fennec so this is my kilo class that's what i'm working on now so i have over 40 weapons that i unlocked obsidian for there's only a couple posts that i've ever seen of anybody ever actually doing this disgusting challenge there's really no light at the end of the tunnel there's nothing here for us as you guys know i spent a while on the fennec but i have the fennec done here so we got obsidian for it as well nothing really crazy about it people don't really give a shit about obsidian but you know still doing it now i ended up seeing a couple people asking around about what this would look like with the other camos on top of it it would be pretty cool going Going across all these now watch we got the rainbows and stuff here looks nice the colors change but the pattern doesn't see we go over to woodland here it gets crazier and crazier uh we can go over to digital does the same thing underneath the pattern stays there but when you go over to the completionist camos as you guys know for a lot of different weapons anyway you got that nice pattern there not anymore another nice pattern there nope and obviously obsidian just covers everything and obsidian doesn't care what you feel like not really the nicest looking thing but whatever so combining that with damascus no i was hoping maybe we could get the quote real damascus if we had like a cool color mesh and, uh that the pattern were to change a little bit but it just completely overrides it there's basically no next to no point they literally produced and sold a better damascus already they've technically done it before you know this one as well but i wouldn't have minded if that's what damascus looked like at the end of it all now given i don't actually ever really use this barrel very often this uh what a predator barrel or whatever it's called but the iron sight for this barrel is actually super look at this this is super clean i like this some people like the default ones more or maybe the other uh you know blueprints of it or whatever but i think this looks super nice but you didn't expect me to try to jump over that this operator foregrip makes it feel weird i'm used to commando i'm used to like kind of fighting the recoil a little bit but not the side to side I called in a kill streak and I like rubber banded. Still in that dark ass corner. I can't wait until Cold War. I don't give a shit if the game is even a quarter as popular as this fucking game. I'm over it. Don't care. I mean, it looks so nice. I, I love the colors of it. I really do wish that's how uh, the actual Damascus was. At least the colors anyway. Sure, maybe the pattern could be a little bit different or whatever, but still. For a long time, I really thought it was Damascus steel, but uh, clearly that's not the case. It's more Damascus clown mascus airhead I, I don't know even i am the ultimate clown with the amount of time i've wasted on this game so honestly it's perfect no rubber banding again I, i've noticed this more and more Wait, what, what is that holy sh I, i'm teleporting everywhere 
sick re-challenge, man. You're a crazy player. He's insane. So maybe I can have like a rubber band button or something like that. I should be allowed one free rubber band in order to be able to try to cross a simple alleyway or a doorway or something. Let me lag through it to at least give me a chance. Zero brain activity needed to aim your weapon. This game... That's the other shit that I see on Warzone all the time. Like, every single weapon is just built around zero brain activity as possible. There's two different types of no brain activity. There's the multiplayer no brain activity where you use MP5s or down my route of, uh, you know, just using a bunch of hip firing things on shipment. And then there's Warzone no brain activity where you build your weapon with every single recoil resistance and stabilization thing in the book and, uh, that's it. Every weapon's a beam. It doesn't matter. Now it's about which beam do you prefer? Shame I won't be able to use this camo much past this video or anything like that. It's it's not like I'm not actually allowed to or whatever, but since I'm doing other things or whatever, then I'm not really going to come across and use this since my M4 is already Obsidian anyway. I did it really early into the game after I was sniping for a while and I got frustrated, so then I got Obsidian M4 and MP5 just to show people that uh, I'm a very hurt young man. These iron sights are so nice though, honestly. I like to swap over to the Kilo now. I don't know when that playlist update's coming or whatever, but... I'll try the no-brain activity kilo, but it's in the store. It's like 500 COD points, 800 COD points, something like that. So uh, I don't really use this barrel much, but in hardcore, it doesn't seem to make much of a difference. And it's nice not having that crazy ABS penalty with a super long barrel and the monolithic on top of it. Pretty nice. So playlist update. There it is. Shipment 24-7, shoot house 24-7, deathmatch domination and drop zone. Hardcore shipment 24-7, boom. Now I don't even need to cherry pick my lobbies anymore. Now, now it's going. Let's go. No-brain activity. Merc foregrip, five milliwatt laser, 100 round drum, stipple. That's about the most accurate thing I can get. Look how thick, oh my God, the ADS speed is, ugh. I mean, Warzone players are used to this, I'm sure, but oh my God, my move speed is so slow. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I've been using that, uh, the Ripley skin from Alien or whatever, or at least that's what it's based on. I love it. That's pretty bad. That's the tightest I can make it. Uh, yeah, no, the hip fire is terrible. Uh, so let's go with the whisper barrel, GI mini reflex, mando, 50 round mag, and stipple. That looks about right. Uh, I'm gonna have to use my brain a bit more, but it's shipment, so I've retired my brain, honestly. I retired my brain about six months ago. I'm done calling airstrikes in hardcore. The game just purposefully spawns them away from any danger. It's just so tired of seeing the glaring issues with this game. It's been so obvious for so fucking long. This is way better. I mean, maybe when I'm bored over this time, I'll just start unlocking all of the uh, reticles too. I mean, why not? I have to do like all the weird ones because I have like the regular type of like reflexes and other things like that done. Those types of reticles are all done, but I don't have like the weird uh, like 3X thermal and uh, if I get bored enough, I can just unlock it during this whole time or whatever. So pack laser makes it way faster. Also, it doesn't help that my controller is getting broken more and more and more the more that I'm using it. It's starting to really just kind of give me more and more problems. I mean, this is way better. It just is, never mind. No brain activity only works with weapons with decent hip fire. At least a high enough fire rate and damage to make it work. Most of these assault rifles might be a different story. It is kind of weird to deal with a weapon that actually recoils to the left. I have developed a fucking lung condition from the amount of smoke that people have been throwing for the past month, man. It's all because of the Bruin. It truly is just the most annoying sh**. Why am I not completely invisible in smoke when I have cold blood? I shouldn't be kind of visible. I should be completely invisible. Doesn't more bullet velocity give you a small amount of damage? I swear I do more damage with this Whispers barrel on. Not just range, like actual damage. Look at the guy right there just sitting in the corner just blinking over over and over again does not move on the smallest map in the game part of me really wanted to use the kilo a whole bunch in uh war zone but after feeling that recoil pattern it, it doesn't recoil up it just kind of like small up and just to the left and it's just it's so weird also it doesn't help the fact that my controller is broken every single time i turn left too uh, when i go left it kind of uh sticks a little bit like that like you can see on the screen, I showed you guys it before, but also I can turn faster to my right than I can to my left. My aiming is just all over the place and not to mention, I mean, oh look, got another mastery card. I have a lot of these like mastery cards that I didn't even actually go for. They just were there from me unlocking Obsidian and stuff. Um, I have amassed over a hundred thousand kills doing this challenge and um, yeah.
the, I, I know that there's really no light at the end of the tunnel, but maybe one day. 